Hey guys, it's Uncle Jonah here and I'm back, back with some more beer. Going to do a beer review for you. And today it's a special one because it's still rel relatively new. Ended up right at the end of last year. Check this bad boy out. Leaping Legend from the Badger set <laughs> down there in Dorset. Look at that bottle. Absolute class. And some of you might have noticed that Badger have gone back to their brown bottles. It's not really brown, it's just off brown, but they were, I think they were having trouble with their clear bottles. Um, and originally, back in the day, they had the dark brown bottles and then they went to pale ones. Um, and I thought the pale ones were quite good, but they've gone a bit more traditional, which is fantastic. And look at that label, absolute beauty. You can just see there's a little jumping cricket on the front there. And we've also got the branding on here, yeah, telling you it's new. Also telling you it's 4.8% on the ABV. And look at that. We've even got the Badger, which way up is it? That way, there we go. The Badger cap, which is absolutely fantastic. I really like Badger beers. Um, and while we're talking about Badger, um, I've noticed that the Gribble Inn, is back up and running again. So if you're ever down in Chichester or Bognor or somewhere like that down by the coast, check out the Gribble Inn in Oving on your way home because it's a fantastic pub. They make their own beers. They even sold one to Badger. But that's another story. If you want to look it up, you can find out that information. The other thing I like about the Badger bottles, we've got some tasting notes on the back, which is absolutely fantastic. And we've got a little story which they like telling us. And I like oral history. I like all things oral, to be honest. Um, but let me tell you a story. Sit down, get comfortable. Uncle Jonah will tell you a story. Should you pass the hamlet of Bincombe um, and hear a slow ticking sound, look closely for the valiant grasshopper leaping further than any other clattering his legs mid-flight. Uh, this light-coloured beer balances citrus character of Amarillo hops with Fuggles hops um, for a refreshing punchy beer. Shum on. Other breweries take note. It is possible to mix New World and Old World hops together and come up with something like this. Very special. Bit of smokage on there. Mm. I'm not sure what, um, how shall I say, what malt profile they, they use to create these beers. They are, some of them are quite similar, I do have to say. Um, but if you've got a winning formula, why alter it? Why indeed? This is a 500, so it's going to fit into a pint glass with no problems at all. And look at that lovely, lovely colour. I've had it in the fridge, there's a bit of frosting, but it's you can see it's a very, very clear brew. Off-white bubbles. I'm going to say maybe half a finger to three-quarter finger head. The bubbles are sticking around a little bit. However, this is a Dorset dishwater. <laughs> that's, that's hard enough to say at the best of times. Let's get in there. We've definitely got some real fresh, sort of citrusy, peachy, maybe grapefruity kind of hops on the nose. I'm also getting that malt as well, that golden malt, and I really don't know what they use, but there's going to be obviously a lot of pale malt in there. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a tiny bit um, of colour added, maybe a biscuit, I'm thinking. Oh, that's beautiful. Up front, you get all that kind of, that amarillo, that fruitiness, peach, grapefruit. Oh, it's absolutely fabulous. Really, really liking that. In the background, however, you're definitely getting that bitterness from the Fuggles. Um, so on the, on the back burner, <laughs> very late on in the, in the taste, you are getting that you're getting the punchiness of the Amarillo because it's very high alpha acids, 
but you're also getting that taste, that proper dishwater taste of the Fuggles hops, which I absolutely love. They've got this one more or less spot on. I'm not a hop head by any means. However, that's got just enough hops in there, just enough alpha and beta acids to keep me interested without going completely IPA bonkers, which I know some of you chaps that are watching this probably are. I'm not gonna say you're wrong. It's just not my cup of tea. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic beer. Even got a tiny bit of lacing, although lacing is obviously not the goal. Um, it shows that they've got the maltings right. They've got the sugar levels right. Tiny bit, tiny bit watery. So I would not be surprised if they do their brew and then backwater just a tad, just to get it under 5%. But there is, it's very weird. The hops give you that sort of watering in the mouth with, with a nice uh, hot finish. However, if you seek it out, you can definitely taste the sweetness of the malts too. Um, and perhaps those two flavors are fighting each other a little bit in this beer. Um, but that gives you something interesting, doesn't it? Sometimes you get the sweetness, you can pick the sweetness out of the malts, like the, the caramel, the sugar, the molasses, that kind of stuff. But it's very, very light. And because it's quite heavily hopped, I would suspect with the Amarillo, that takes the edge off the sweetness. But this is, this is a lovely, lovely beer. Tiny bit too much, maybe, for my palate. Um, I'm used to the dishwater. Tiny bit, a bit too much hoppage. Um, for those of you that like the Golden Champion um, or other, other variants are available, this one's a lot more heavily hopped, so you might be slightly su uh, surprised here, but this is a fabulous beer. Full respect to, uh, to Badger for going back to the old style. Um, the bottle's a slightly different shape. If you can see, it kind of tapers out a little bit like a schooner glass towards the bottom, so it makes it a bit easier to handle. Go and try and find some of this. Uh, there are offers on available, even though this is new, I managed to get this at a special offer price, um, and they are doing it in the supermarkets. Not all supermarkets, so you will have to try and search it out, but that is an absolutely fabulous beer. Hopefully, it will become part of the Badger Set range. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Guys, this has been Uncle Jonah drinking another fantastic beer. Take care of yourselves. Drink plenty beer. We'll see you real soon. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't done already, because if you don't, you won't see more beer reviews from me. <laughs> Shum on, and we'll see you next time. Sweet and sour.